Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of Among the Stars Celebrity Perfume Reviews. Today, I am extremely, extremely happy to be reviewing Onika. And yes, I did have to think about that for a second because I almost said it wrong. Um, I like her name, I will tell you that right now, but I'm not going to say how I think you say her name because you guys who are her fans would probably rip me apart for saying it wrong. But anyway, so, this is Onika. This is Nicki Minaj's newest, newest scent. This um, debuts this September um, and is her third pillar scent and sixth scent overall following Pink Friday, Pink Friday Special Edition, Pink Friday Deluxe Edition, Majesty, Majesty Exotic, and now we have Annika, or Nika. I'm sorry, I said it wrong. Oh my dear God. I knew it was going to happen. I am so sorry. It is Onika. So, on the front of the box, we have this very Art Deco, um, kind of hard on the eyes, but I do kind of like it, logo for Onika, um, that's got the big O, O-N-O-N-I-K-A, sorry. And then it says Nicki Minaj on the bottom, 3.4 ounce, 100 ml ED Parfum Vaporizer Spray. And the back and the front are the same. The top has the um, logo with the sides just being kind of plain. There is no promo picture on the back of this, which I thought was kind of weird, but that's okay. Um, the bottom is just the barcode and all the other information. So, this is the Onika bottle. Um, we did see this debut in the Pills and Potions video with a purple liquid. I'm not too sure why the liquid was purple in that video, but it is clear. Um, very, very, very clear. Um, the brassiere corset thing on here is black with little gold studs. Um, there is nothing on the back of this bottle. It is a very, 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 very clear bottle. I will reiterate that a couple times because it is ridiculously how clear this bottle is. Um, a lot of people who did get Menagerie Exotic from HSN, which I just did a review of on my channel, um, did get the Onika Rollerball. Um, I do have that along with the wardrobe air freshener for Onika. Um, so Onika is described as a floral scent, um, a floral fruity scent, and when she launched it, or when she announced it on Twitter, and somebody said, what does it smell like? She said, it smells like angels playing in the Garden of Perfection. So, that made me kind of think, okay, um, what is this going to smell like? And then I got the notes and whatnot, but um, when I first read the notes and I first kind of read the thing, I was kind of put off a little bit because with Pink Friday, she said that it smelled like angels playing. And this was angels playing in the Garden of Perfection. And then I read the note, which I will tell you right now before I read the notes off to you guys, there are four notes in similarity to um, Pink Friday, but this does not smell like Pink Friday at all. It is completely different. Um, it smells quite amazing, I will tell you that right now. Um, but it does have a similarity in the notes to Pink Friday, but does, like I said, does smell completely different. So this one has top notes of pear, mandarin, and starfruit with middle notes of orchid, osmanthus, and water lily with base notes of white musk, cedar wood, and sugar cane. So, I need to make sure I have the right tester card. Okay. So, straight out the bat, you smell that pear. The pear is the, the most standout of this fragrance. I will tell you that I like it. Because those of you who do know, I do like pear in my fragrances. Um, the mandarin and the starfruit aren't too distinct. I think they blend very well together and they make kind of a, their own scent to balance out the pear. But it does kind of blend um, down to the heart with the orchid kind of coming out and making itself well known. And then as it kind of goes deeper, into the heart, you smell a lot of that um, osmanthus, but at the same time, um, the sugar cane kind of brings itself up from the base toward the beginning of the heart. Um, the water lily does give it a very like effervescent kind of light take to it, which I do like. This fragrance isn't terribly light, but it's not extremely like potent and overbearing. 
I'm not saying that it's overbearing, but potent and strong as Deluxe Edition was. Not saying, I can't really compare this to any of her fragrances, because they're all, it is very different from all her other ones. Um, but as it dries down, the sugar cane is very prominent, but I do think that the Osmanthus blends, is kind of blended down into the base with the cedar wood and the white musk. Um, I know that the review I just did for Menagerie the Exotic did have the white musk and the cedar wood, but this does not have a similar dry down at all. Um, the top of, the, like, the, all the notes in the very top kind of blend itself down into the base to make it smell quite, quite great. But I think if I would have to pick a favorite out of the two, I would have to go with Exotic. And that's just because I do like more summery scents. But I do like this one a lot, too. Not saying I like this one any less or any more. I'm kind of tied because I do like them both a lot. But... I do like this one too. Um, I think maybe this one would be better for the fall and winter months. Um, but it is kind of a floral scent. But it's nice because it's not an overly bearing floral scent. It does have those fruits that Nikki put in there to blend it very well. Um, but when I, I will tell you guys this. When I saw her hold this in the Pills and Potions video, um, I thought it was Deluxe Edition at first because of this black wig. Um, because she did do the black wig with Deluxe Edition, and then we saw it on that rotating table, and that wasn't obviously Deluxe Edition. But, this was one of the, you know, Nikki did the bombshell of launching two fragrances, or announcing two fragrances in one day, and I got them both on the same day. Um, I do have a feeling this one has the potential to last quite a bit longer than Exotic Edition, but they both are EDPs, so... Who knows how long they could last. Um, to kind of sum it up, um, Nicki Minaj's Onika, or not Onika, Onika, sorry. There's so many ways to say her name, and I know that it's Onika, but it does not roll off the tongue as well as like Onika or Onika, or I'm not too sure all the ways I've said it, but it is Onika. Anyway, it is a very light, fruity scent in the beginning, which dries down, starts to dry down into a florally base. And then once we get to the base of this scent, the base is very floral and fruity with supporting roles of waterly, osmanthus, and pear. And this fragrance would be great for daytime where with any time, you know, going out on, out on town or just daytime going to work. Um, it is a very different scent for Nikki and I will tell you that now. Um, I do know that this gets launched in September, um, and this is a worldwide launch. It's not a limited edition. This is a full size or full fledged launch, like Majesty and um, Pink Friday were. So, like always, guys, follow me on Twitter, A the S Perfume, Instagram, Among the Stars Perfume. Links in the description both below. Thumbs up this video if you liked it. Um, subscribe if you want to. Share it if you want to. Um, Comment below for video requests that you guys want me to do. I do have more videos coming. Um, but like I said, my video schedule kind of got screwed up again. Um, I know yesterday I filmed my Jessica Simpson signature scent um, review. And it was supposed to be Midnight to the Exotic on Thursday. And then Friday was supposed to be Onika. And I didn't know what today was supposed to be. But I'm not too sure where this is ever going. So... Like always, guys, have a great day. Bye.